Well, I recently got a Fiat 500e, um, and it's a great car, and there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to make some videos all about the car. I'm going to explain how the car works, etc. But I want to talk about this, and this is the key. It's not the main key you get. The main key you get is this one. Um, which is just a conventional uh, keyless entry key but um, they on well, some models supply you with this key I think it's actually an optional extra it's called the wearable key and it rather cornerly says ethics on one side and aesthetics on the other um, as you can see there's no buttons or anything and I've got a cable tie around it here um, because this isn't actually the key this is a case for the wearable key. The idea is you can hang this around your neck and basically the 500D is a great car, really recommend it, but um, Fiat have just gone mad on the green washing, it's got recycled seats and all of that sort of stuff. So this is a supposedly a recycled case made in China it said on the box. And if we have a look inside it, uh, the key is actually in this thing, it's not even that. Is this and this is rather a neat little thing actually now I think this would be quite cool because you could um, wear this around your neck um, almost like a little tablet but um, you can't actually wear it because it's got nothing to hold um, it with you know it's just um, no hole or anything it's a bit like an air tag Apple air tag in that uh, it looks nice but you need some sort of holder to put it in so you know this is rather oversized in my opinion and the hole uh, uh, in it it's actually quite small so I've had to put this cable tie on um, to hold it to my key ring uh, the way this works is uh, when you get near the car it detects your presence and when you pull on the handle it unlocks it and when you shut the doors and walk away it uh, locks the car and obviously when it's inside the car it enables you to turn the ignition on and drive away and if the battery in it goes flat you can put it in the center console um, in front of the cup holder and it's got a sort of um, RFID chip in it which will enable it to always start so you know it's a bit annoying because on the conventional key you've got the button so you can lock and unlock you can open the boot although that doesn't actually really do very much um, because the boots just a normal gas strut boot and you can uh, put the headlamps on um, the other thing that's nice about this is uh, I can't remember which way it is oh, here we go it has a mechanical key inside it so um, if the battery goes flat um, the 12 volt battery in the car you can get in um, with the little emergency key release has a battery underneath here um, which you can change so you know if the battery goes flat in it you just uh, it's a normal coin cell in there and uh, if the car battery goes flat you can get into it with the key um, the thing is that the, um, this is you know like how every, you know, every other car key in the world is um, but the wearable key is um, well not um, openable so if we try and open it give that a go but this is actually just plastic welded shut um, now in the user manual it says if the battery goes flat in here uh, just go and buy another one from your Fiat dealer now I have access to the Fiat parts catalogue and it shows you the, the list prices for stuff and this is in the region of £200 um, and then you've obviously got to get it coded to the car so I mean I don't know what you think but maybe I'm wrong maybe you can pop into a Fiat dealer and these are I don't know 20 quid or something that's sort of how much they should be if you think about an air tag you know it, it an air tag is uh, 30 pounds and this is nearly an order of magnitude more so yeah I'm a bit annoyed at that. This is supposed to be an eco-friendly car. And it's got all this greenwashing with the recycled seats and all of that. It's uh, battery electric, zero emissions, blah, blah, blah. Um, but um, you can't change the battery in the key. So that seems really stupid to me. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully Fiat will write to me and say these can be recycled. There's like a surface exchange. You take it back in and they'll, they'll give you another one for, you know, 30 quid off. 
something like that. But um, as far as I can see, I can see these being about 300 quid to, to change. And already today, it actually wouldn't work um, wirelessly. I had to put it sort of in the in the reader for it to start the car. So, nice idea, um, but um, Fiat, if you see this, can you get back to me and let me know that, um, you know, I'm not going to have to pay £300 when the battery goes flat, because I can see this going flat because quite easily, because when you leave it outside of the car, um, it's constantly having to, to ping it um, to see whether you're near, so it's always sort of you know, it's always in contact with uh, with the car. It's not just when you press the button, it sends a signal. It's always talking to the car. Um, so yeah, I can see this being quite battery heavy. And if you think about it, the uh, the battery in the NOR key is uh, almost the same size as this. So I'd imagine it's just a normal-ish sized battery in there. Um, so yeah, some confirmation on this would be lovely for you because. If you're sort of, I didn't get a choice um, about this, if you're kind of forcing people to have this um, and it goes flat after a year or two, you know, 300 quid every year for a key um, seems a bit ridiculous. So, yep, I'd like some, some feedback on that. But nice idea, I think, badly implemented. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll watch some more videos about the car.